What is going on, BF Familia? How are you guys doing today? It's your girl, Crystal. Welcome back to my channel, guys. So guys, today we're gonna be watching another scary video today. We're gonna be watching scary toys caught on camera and in real life. So guys, when you think of toys, what do you think about, okay? You know, I have kids, right? So they play with toys on a daily basis. So just imagine your kid playing with a toy and it traumatizes them or it's scary to them and it traumatizes them, right? <clears throat> so when a toy traumatizes one of your children, what do you do, right? Me personally, garbage is my first instinct. I don't know what people do to, um, I don't know, they keep the toys throw the toys away or vice versa, right? So these are toys that people are still buying to this day. Yes, you heard me to this day. So we're gonna see the five times, ugh, the scariest toys that people are buying today, okay? But before we get into this video, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not. Um, if you guys are brand new and you guys are just seeing me for the first time, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my channel and join the Via Familia. Turn your post notifications on so you guys are never missing a video. Guys, I was personally not going to upload today just because um, I think I'm getting sick again. Um, I could feel it in my face. Um, I'm really hot. I get hot and cold chills and stuff like that. So it's like I'm getting, I don't think, I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting sick or not. But yes, guys, I don't, I don't even want to post today, to be honest with you. But um, yes, turn, turn your post notifications on. Comment down below what you guys think of this video. I have my thoughts and opinions on the video as well. Maybe through the video, probably at the end of the video. Who knows? But we're going to get started. Alright, Bia Familia, are you guys ready? Because I sure am. I want to see the top five toys that are haunted or caught on camera. So, during this video, I might, if I see some toys that are familiar, I'm going to let you know if I had them as a child or not. Here we go. Friend, your worst enemy. What's that? Furbies made national news in 1998 as the first robot ever developed and mass-produced as a consumer device. In this case, a toy for children. Furby spoke its own unique language called Furbish when first purchased, but it was programmed to gradually learn English over time so that it could speak to its child playmate. The launch of this robot did not go as planned. The first release of the Furbies were defective. I have come home oh, and I, I have stood at the base of the steps just dreading the f randomly freak out screeching mm -hmm. gibberish and making weird facial expressions while rapidly blinking its eyes as if possessed turns out the computer chip in the furby robot was very unstable and often mm -hmm. malfunctioned sending the furby into a stream of random frightening behavior and speech that often traumatized any child in its presence <laughs> Furby. These random malfunctioning Furbies are now very sought after by toy collectors, but to some, they are nightmarish childhood memories. But forgetting all of that nightmare fuel, Furbies are amazingly still sold today. The newest version is the quote, Furby Connect. But there are still concerns even with these new Furbies. In 2016, a UK consumer group warned that a lack of robust security measures made it possible to hack into the toy and use it as a surveillance device. What? Now, tell me that doesn't sound like a Black Mirror episode. Uh, you think? Anyway, 
Did you have a weird Furby scary toy experience yourself? Let me know down in the comments. All right, guys. So, as you guys see, the first toy is a Furby, okay? Now, he said these came out at 1998. So, how old was I in 1998? Probably going on eight years old. I was probably seven years old, probably going on eight. So, I ain't gonna lie, guys. When these first came out, when I was a child, they were... I love them. Like, I always wanted to, you know, when they first came out, I was like, oh my God, mom, can you go make me a Furby? What not? I used to have a whole collection of them, to be honest with you, but I never seen nothing like this happen to my Furbies when I had toy these toys growing up. You know, me and my sisters, we used to have toys like this and we used to play with them. Never once my Furbies malfunctioned at all. Like, they never made that noise ever. But now, like he said, they're still sold in stores today, but they're just an upgraded version of it. But that's crazy how they have one that's connected to a device. And you know, a lot of people are hacking and scamming nowadays. And just to hear stuff like that, um, that people are hacking Furbies, just if use that as surveillance cameras, that's crazy. My kids would never ever even if they wanted one i wouldn't even buy it just because of that because you don't know what like i said you don't know what's going on you don't know who's hacking your stuff like i said hackers are really smart nowadays and they'll just hack anything that has to deal with it that has connection to a device if you want one of these beasts in your home there's a link to buy one down in the description not me creepy doll Mm -mm. Earlier this year, a scary video surfaced of a creepy doll that was supposedly found in a graveyard in Mexico. But creepiest of all, the doll's eyes seemed to follow the viewer as they moved. Well, oh, the video cool. was a hoax, but the doll is very real. It was a creation by Oklahoma artist Julia Lane. Oh, no. Julia's specialty is making very bizarre, creepy dolls, some of which have eyes that follow you. Bro, the you eyes move. are really like, like... Okay, why does that baby got teeth? That is creepy. And it looks so real. Oh no, I would have been scared. Mm -mm. This doll would not be in my These house. These toys aren't really made for kids, but are basically amazing pieces of horror art. Link to the doll page is in the description. <laughs> Okay. The Ouija board. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, you know that I did a whole countdown on scary videos with Ouija boards. In the comments of that video, a few people mentioned that it was weird that a Ouija board was sold as a simple children's toy by the Hasbro Toy Company. And let me tell you even something, guys. Some if you go to Party City or any horror store, even they sell these. Like, they sell these. Like, it's in the spooky clip, expenses. a group of teens are using a Ouija board in a graveyard when they begin hearing strange noises. No living being should ever eat processed food Dude. for every single meal of their life. If there is a spirit near us, what is your name? That's the worst mistake you can do. Why would you do that? You're not moving, I can. I'm grandma. You can tell I'm not. What was that? J. Don't tell me this is about to spell Joe. Oh, you had it right, bud. Guys. What? Joe, is this you? Have you heard that? Oh my god. I don't know what to pay attention of. Yeah, You're I You're not moving that. I'm grandma, I'm not. <laughs> No, this is not even funny. Oh, oh grandma. Oh, how do you guys keep like okay, on grandma? No, this G. ain't even funny. We hold it back to G. Look, look whose grave. Hold on, let me take my fingers off this real quick. Look whose grave we are on right now. Joseph. You can't Can you see, see it. it? Yet. No, you can't. It says Joseph. J O S E. You can't really see it. You can see it. I just saw it in there. 
Why do they keep saying I'm great? Oh, 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 oh. I would never like. Uh, who was mm. that? He look like a homeless man. Bro. Are you okay? Bro, 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 bro. mysterious homeless man yet again but when the car lights shine on the area no one is there where is he you're not even nowhere here i don't see nobody do you all right this is what we got to do king are you recording yes we're gonna run to the ouija board say goodbye and try to say goodbye all right ready all right. this clip right here with the Ouija board and things like that I would never ever 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 use one in particular especially I would not make it as a children's toy just because kids not mean to offend anybody but you know kids do dumb things you know what I mean <sighs> this is sold as a kid's toy okay okay a kiss toy watching this clip okay I would never go to a graveyard and use an Ouija board just because that is to connect with anything out in the afterlife okay as you guys see in in the I'm getting chills just thinking about it bro I'm getting chills I'm getting chills um They said that they seen a homeless person. I don't think what they seen was what they thought they seen, okay? Um, I think it was an entity. It's claiming as a homeless person, okay? Guys, I keep looking back because it's like, I'm scared. Um, just don't mess with OBG boards, guys. Just don't. Because they're not good toys at all. They're not. So, do you think a Ouija board is simply a scary toy suitable for eight-year-olds? Or is it a portal to the supernatural world? It Let is. me know what you think down in the comments. It sure is. Or, if you want to try it out yourself and see if you can summon some scary shadow being mm -hmm. to your home, a link to buy this scary toy oh, is in the no. video description. 
I want to be able to have everything and nothing in my mind while I run. I need to get my legs strong. Just thinking about this Ouija board is driving me insane. Like, I, I don't know. It's crazy. A woman bought her daughter a simple toy at a local dollar store. The so-called evil stick wand was rated for children ages three years and above. It looked like a typical child's toy, and the packaging promised, quote, wonderful music, magic, and the fairies. Well, the woman gave her child the toy, and that's not quite what she got. The young girl pulls back a plastic sticker on the wand to reveal a demonic-looking little girl oh. who seems to be cutting herself while grinning evilly at the camera. What? And remember how the toy's packaging promised, quote, wonderful music? Well, here's what the one played. Oh no. The little girl was frightened by the image. The girl's mother was appalled. I'm outraged over it. I want to know how, how they think that that is suitable mm -hmm. for a child. But the shop owner's reaction was the most surprising of all. The name on it, it says evil stick. So from the name, I would ha if I'm buying it for my kid, and I have a lot of kids, and I have young ones, I would inspect it before I even give it to them. So when this story first went public, it seemed so outlandish that many people on the internet first thought that it was just a hoax. But a YouTuber yeah, but named Matt Clark to went to the it. same dollar store and purchased this, quote, evil stick wand and confirmed the story. Uh, it's like a, a child's anime series character. Again, that kind of goes with the princess wand, not so much a girl slicing her arm. But anyway, uh, down here in the corner, it says, I can send out the luster of the beauty. I don't know what that means. It's a 100% real children's toy being sold in bargain stores all across the U.S. right now. <laughs> you want to see me buy that for my kids? Definitely want to be... That is creepy. Heathen doll. A very strange and scary story emerged from the internet late last year. It was said that a new Pinterest craze had emerged on the internet. Sewing your child's lost baby teeth into a doll. Supposedly, mothers on Pinterest were taking up a new craft project, making dolls and sewing their children's lost baby teeth into the mouth of the doll. Like most things on the internet, it was all a wild exaggeration. Turns out it was actually an artist known only as Mrs. Oh, McGendrick no. who was making the strange dolls with teeth. The dolls are oh. called Fugglers, and despite the crazy stories circulated on the internet, the dolls did not have real lost baby teeth. The strange stuff figures simply have bizarre fake teeth sewn into their mouths. But if that's not weird enough for you, then please keep in mind that in real life, some mothers actually make necklaces from their children's baby teeth. Mm -mm. And that is 100% true. Oh no. Okay, guys. Okay, I'm getting like super chills from this video right now. Okay, guys. <clears throat> I don't even know what to say about this video, guys. I don't even know what to say. Some of these toys were creepy as heck. I'm not going for them. But it's kind of sad that these toys are still being sold today, especially the wand. Like, a, like it's showing an evil person doing harmful things to herself. And then it has, and then it has like some type of evil, how do you say evil, like evil, laugh or whatever you want to call it like that's crazy like i don't get how these toys are still sold today i really don't like it's sad because these are toys that were given our children and to know that i grew up on these toys well i never grew up on the wand but i grew up on the furby um definitely the furby the Ouija board I really did see in stores, you know, is in the in the game section, which it shouldn't be. 
you know, because people do, you know, they want to communi communicate with the dead or whatnot. But I'm just telling you right now, the Ouija boards are not, are not safe. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. So do not buy a Ouija board and then expect, oh, butterflies and candies all over the place. No. You're gonna, you're gonna regret it. Especially if you do not know how to use it. So guys, give me your thoughts and opinions on these creepy toys that are still being sold today in our stores across the U.S. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not. And let me know what you guys think. Um, I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. It's your girl Crystal. I'm signing out. I'll see you guys tomorrow.